One of my favorite Ayn Rand quotes is um, that the smallest minority on earth is the individual exactly. and that those who will not defend individual rights cannot be considered defenders of minorities. I think that's sometimes interpreted to be about minorities specifically, whereas I think that's the secondary piece of that and what it's really about is individual rights. I think often when we talk about uh, free speech, we talk around individual rights and I, I wonder what your thoughts are about individual rights explicitly. Yeah, I mean, vis-a-vis -vis free speech. Yeah. Um, uh, addressing individual rights explicitly uh, when it comes to free speech instead of talking around it. Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think I, th I agree that the most important minority in any society is individual, and it is individual rights that needs protection, not groups. Um, and I, I think, you know, when it comes to this issue, it is very important because if you, for, for instance, take the Muslim community, um, people who are talking about Muslims uh, as a group and not as individuals, they provide a tool to the oppressors within that group uh, to say, you know, women, uh, uh, gays, uh, atheists, uh, all kinds of people that they do not have a right to exercise their individual rights within that group because there are other norms and uh, and and rules. So 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 the protection of individual rights in this context is also uh, a protection of the right to dissent within a, within a group, uh, and that's I mean that's crucial for uh, for the fight for freedom and it's crucial for the kind of process that uh, that a lot of muslim communities have to go through um, for instance in sweden that is close to where i live in denmark uh, there is a ghetto in uh, in rosengarten in malmo um, and and some years ago the Ministry of Immigration in Sweden, they did uh, an investigation on this uh, ghetto area and there were women living there who said that they felt that they had less individual rights living in Sweden than they enjoyed in Beirut in Lebanon because there was a religious police who were telling them that they had to cover themselves, uh, that, uh, that uh, um, girls and boys were not allowed to uh, use the same playground and so on and so forth. And, and that is exactly because uh, you have these communities and they believe that they have a right to enforce their own standards on, on everybody without uh, protecting individual rights. Yeah, I agree completely that this is an issue of individual rights. We definitely have to defend it as an issue of individual rights. That's absolutely crucial. But I would also say that you have to understand that the whole point of individual rights is to protect our right to live and thrive and pursue happiness. So I would echo the words of the Declaration of Independence. This is a positive value proposition. It's not enough just to say I want to be left alone. I mean it's true strictly speaking as a legal matter. But if you really want people to get behind this you've got to teach them that this is a value. This is about living the good life. It's not just about the right to say any damn thing you want, although that is your right. So yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly that rights have to be part of it, but we have to convince people that rights are good.